Hi, I'm Danny Benitez, and I'm going to give you my opinion on the importance of down payment when working in a four square environment. Ah, the four square technique. This ought to ruffle some feathers. Uh, the, this is a topic that I've heard uh, hotly contested uh, amongst the industry experts on whether or not to use a Sharpie, whether or not to use a pre-printed computerized uh, presentation sheet. Uh, this video is not about that because uh, frankly I don't care what you use. Uh, if you're at a point to where the type of ink you use when presenting numbers uh, is going to splinter your relationship with your customer, we've got bigger work to do than worrying about ink. We need to go back further and make sure that we've uh, laid the groundwork for the proper relationship with a customer. So uh, let's not get caught up in those kind of details. As a matter of fact, let's not get caught up in a lot of details at all. It's not my bag. I like looking at things from a helicopter view. And uh, I've just been asked a lot lately for some reason about uh, the Foursquare and how I feel about it. Uh, I'll just tell you a few little things. Number one, the Foursquare is fine. Uh, it involves four areas that we're going to talk about with a customer sooner or later, uh, more than likely. We're going to talk about the price of the vehicle. We're going to talk about the price of their trade-in. We're going to talk about down payment. We're going to talk about monthly payment. Those things are going to come up in most cases. So a four square only makes sense. Those are the four topics. Uh, working above the line, below the line. Uh, how you work it is your business. I just have a few very basic principles that that I use and first and foremost really revolves around down payment. There are four squares on a four square obviously uh, and, and there's really only one square that benefits both the customer and the dealership uh, depending on where it moves. If If you do the price, if the price goes higher well that's good for the dealership right but that's not so good for the customer. Uh, and if you move that number up, the customer's not going to like it. The trade, if you move that number down, the customer's not going to like it. If you move that price uh, uh, up, the dealership's not going to like it. Same with payments. But really, there's only one square on a four square that benefits both you and the customer. So let's not talk about the other squares right off the bat. Let's focus on that. And if we don't want to bring it out in conversation, let's put enough money down that it is going to pique their interest. Uh, so what we do is we put a large amount of money down, 25, 30, 35 percent in most cases, because it will take their attention down to that square and they are going to tell you immediately uh, how they feel about that. I can't put that amount down or, or they're going to have some objection or maybe they say, great, I was going to put more than that down. However, if they have some problem and say, oh, I can't put that much down, then it's time to explain the benefits of a large down payment. I understand how you feel, Mr. Customer, but we have found that there are really four major benefits to having a large down payment. As a matter of fact, most national publications uh, and credit unions and bank uh, banks recommend that you put a large amount of money down. It's going to enable, enable you to have a lower monthly payment. It's going to help you to build equity faster. It's going to create a shorter trade cycle. And it's also going to create lower loan costs, uh, which means less interest to you. Now, those are beneficial, aren't they, Mr. Customer? Of those four, which is most important to you? Okay, that's just one way to present it. I didn't invent that. As a matter of fact, I've heard that several times. It's just very effective and it's very simple. And so now we've got their focus on the down payment. The more the down payment, all those benefits for the customer. And what's the benefit to us as the dealership with more down payment? That's right, more gross. Okay, I can't put the 5000 down. I understand how you feel, Mr. Customer. A lot of my customers found, uh, felt the same way. Um, were you thinking instead of 5000 more like 46, 4700, maybe 4750? Come down in small increments. That's fine. No, I'm putting no money down. I'm putting no money down. I don't know. Do you have anybody at your dealership that says we're not putting any money down? Okay. Well, that's good for you because we have a lot of people that say that. And I think you're lying uh, to me if you say that that doesn't happen often. Here's just a small thing that we do. This is probably something you've heard a hundred times. I'm just here to remind you to do it again. Well there, Mr. Salesman, I can't put any money down. I'm not putting $5,000 down. I'm not putting any money down. That's no problem, Mr. Customer, um, and, and thank you for telling me that. How did you plan on taking care of your tax title and license? 
and then look at them awake. You're going to be astounded that a large number of people uh, unconsciously think that they need to pay that anyway. That's not really a down payment. That's a separate uh, transaction. So you will get this a percentage of the time. Oh, I'm going to pay my tax time on license down, but I'm just not putting any additional money down. Great. What if we had left that off the table? Okay, so if we don't ask, we're not going to know that they are intending to put their uh, tax title and license down. They end up going to the business office, and they leave, and on the way home, they go, wow, we were going to put our tax title and license down, but that nice salesman didn't make us put any money down. Did you leave money on the table? Probably. Again, this is not rocket science, and this is not any revelation. Hopefully, this just reminds you of the importance of down payment. The more down payment, we all know the gross profit is going to go up on your car deal. When they've come down to that, I'm not putting any money down, one last effort, how are you going to take care of your tax title and license? You're going to be surprised. The next words out of their mouth are going to be, oh, sure, I'm going to put that down, or no, I don't want to put anything down. Or sometimes they'll say, well, how much is tax title and license? I'm glad you asked. Work that, and then proceed with your deal. This is a very small fraction of what we do in a four square environment. But that's a generality, that's just kind of a philosophy I have. Focus on the down payment so that their eyes immediately go towards that down payment amount uh, rather than the trade-in, rather than the price, rather than the monthly, monthly payments. And you'll find once you approach the down payment situation, it takes the pressure off the other three squares. And let me tell you, the other three squares have one thing in common. They're all going to cost you money. The down payment square is going to make you money. Thanks a lot for listening. I'm Danny Benitez. I'll talk to you soon.